In the end of 2019, we have seen some great budget phones like Redmi Note 8, Vivo U20, etc. But here, Realme has done a great job by dropping the price of one of its older phone, Realme 3 Pro, from 14,000 rupees to just 10,000 rupees. And for that price, this is the best gaming smartphone that you can buy right now. And also, it gives a tough competition to other budget phones because of its amazing specs. It has Snapdragon 700 series chipset with a GPU, which is the best GPU that you can get in a phone under 10,000 rupees. It has an amazing fast charger which can fully charge your phone in just 80 minutes and one interesting thing about this phone is that it uses the same camera sensor used in OnePlus 60, a phone which cost you around 30,000 rupees but this phone only cost you around 10,000 rupees. Wow that's amazing. So hey guys it's Vignesh back again with another video and in this video let's do a full review of this Realme 3 Pro and let's see whether this phone is worth for buying or not. Now as a new YouTuber, getting this phone is quite a bit of struggle as no company is going to sponsor you their phone. So if you end up liking what you see in this video then please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and also make sure to hit that bell icon so that you get notified each time when I post my new video. Now with that being done, let's get started. Now let's start with the build and design of this device. The back side of the phone is made up of plastic and it has a gradient finishing to it which makes this phone look really cool. Now as it is plastic, it doesn't look that much premium like some glass back phone and also it does attract fingerprint much easier. But still, that glossy finish and that gradient touch really makes this phone look nicer. Now also as it is made up of plastic, it doesn't break easily as compared to a glass back phone but there is a high chance of getting scratches more easily than a glass bag. So using this phone with the back cover is highly recommended and the back cover that Realme provides is amazing. Now the phone feels lighter while holding it and also it feels very comfortable in hand. Now this is because it has a curved sides. So despite of being made up of plastic, this phone still has a solid build and in terms of design it still looks good. Now let's move to the next thing that is its performance. The phone is powered by a Snapdragon 710 SoC coupled with a 4GB or 6GB of RAM. The Snapdragon 710 is made up of 10 nanometer process. That means this chip is more power efficient compared to other chips that we get under 10K like 11 nanometer Snapdragon 665 which we see in Redmi Note 8. Now the biggest strength of this processor is its GPU. This processor has an Adreno 616 GPU. This GPU is powerful and under 10K or even 13K segment, it's the best GPU performance that you will get in a phone. So in terms of gaming, it should actually perform a lot better than other phones which are under 10,000 or even 13,000 rupees. And guys, in gaming, this has really impressed me a lot. PUBG by default was set to HD graphics, which we don't expect in a phone which is under 10,000 rupees. In HD graphics and at high frame rate, the game was running smoothly with almost no frame drop. And while gaming, the phone was not getting heated that much. But yeah, the phone was definitely getting heated up. But that was kind of a normal heating and in my testing, I didn't see any overheating issue while gaming. Now I also played some other games like Asphalt 9 and Call of Duty Mobile in high graphic settings. And look at this guys, how smoothly this game is running even at high graphic settings. Now in high graphic settings, you don't get such a smooth gaming experience by playing Asphalt 9, especially in a phone which is under 10,000 rupees. But guys, Realme 3 Pro has just nailed it. So gaming is one area where Realme 3 Pro really shines and high-end games like PUBG, Call of Duty Mobile and Asphalt 9 run smoothly without any lag. Now in terms of general performance, Realme 3 Pro also performs well and software wise it uses ColorOS 6 built on top of Android Pie. Now to be honest I was not a big fan of ColorOS because I had used ColorOS in Realme 1 and it doesn't look as clean as stock Android, icons look somewhat cartoonish and even the experience was not that much smooth. But in Realme 3 Pro this has changed, here Realme has done a great job by optimizing this ColorOS. Now apps open quickly, jumping between apps is smoother. And Realme has added some gestures like this gesture for swiping between app, a back gesture and there are plenty more gesture. Now face unlock and the fingerprint scanner works fast as expected. Now the RAM management and the multitasking is also good in this phone. So overall the user experience is fast and this is mainly due to a well optimized color OS in Realme 3 Pro and also due to that faster Snapdragon processor which it has. Now I don't hate this color OS in Realme 3 Pro because it was faster than what I saw on Realme 1 and also Realme has told that Realme devices will get an exclusive version of color OS 7 and they told that this exclusive version of color OS 7 is more like stock Android which I think is an interesting thing. 
Now before moving to next point, if you're just liking this video, then please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and also make sure to hit that bell icon so that you get notified each time when I post my new video. So with that being done, let's talk about the charging speed and the battery life. Realme 3 Pro comes with an 4045 mAh battery and it charges via a micro USB port. Now it's 2019, still Realme has given us a micro USB port instead of Type-C port. Well, I think that's a drawback of this phone. But guys, this is not a normal micro USB port. This port supports VOOC 3.0 fast charging and you will get a 20 volt VOOC 3.0 fast charger out of the box. Now VOOC charger can fully charge this phone in just 80 minutes and Realme claims that it can charge this phone from 0 to 50% in just 30 minutes. And in my testing, the phone was charged to 45% in just 30 minutes. And in one hour, the phone was charged to 86%. And finally got 100% in just 1 hour 18 minute which is amazing. Now in this charging testing my mobile data, Wi-Fi, etc was turned off. So in case if you are charging while keeping this mobile data turned on then this will take between 80 to 90 minutes to fully charge and 80 to 90 minutes is still an amazing charging speed. Now talking about the battery life of this phone. This phone's battery life is excellent and while reviewing this phone, I played some heavy games, clicked some photos and done some heavy tasks with this phone and this phone lasted for almost a day with a single charge. So in heavy usage, it can actually last for almost a day and in normal usage, it should last for almost one and a half days. Now the biggest reason why the battery life of this phone is better is because of that power efficient 10 nanometer processor which it has. This processor takes less battery to perform task and this result to a better battery life. Now let's talk about the cameras. The Realme 3 Pro comes with a 16 megapixel primary sensor with an aperture of f1.7 and the secondary sensor used is a 5 megapixel depth sensor with an aperture of f2.4. And in front it has a 25 megapixel camera with an aperture of f2.0. Now the primary sensor used in this phone is actually a Sony sensor. It's a Sony IMX519 sensor and this is the same sensor used in OnePlus 60. So it's actually a more capable camera hardware that you can see in this phone and it also does a great job too. Now in daylight, the back camera performs really well. The photos look great, your exposures are good and the colors are good. But sometimes the camera takes an oversaturated images. And there is also an option called Chroma Boost which helps you to take an oversaturated images like this one. Now an oversaturated images aren't that bad because they might be more pleasing to your eyes. Like in these two images, most of the people will like that oversaturated images as that green color of the leaf really pop outs. But one thing to note here is that while zooming in, the details in an oversaturated images are less compared to a normal images. So an oversaturated images may have less detail compared to a normal images and they might also lose that natural colors. But overall, it gives an extra pop to your subject which some people might like it. Now having a look at portrait shots here, this phone can also take some good looking portrait shots and the edge detection of these portrait shots are okay considering the price. Now here Realme has added an Ultra HD mode which can take 64 megapixel images and to be honest there is not that much difference between a normal 16 megapixel image and a 64 megapixel images. Now talking about the selfies, this is where Realme has done a great job. Here the selfies look amazing, here the colors, exposure etc are great. Now the selfies have much more detail and the selfie portraits also look great with good edge detection. So overall the selfies look really good in this phone and frankly speaking, I like images taken from front facing camera than any images taken from a back facing camera. Now talking about the videos, it can shoot 4K video at 30fps and as you can see that the video stabilization of this 4K footage is not that great and I think it's okay because you can't expect a stabilized 4K video in a phone which is under 10,000 rupees. Now you can also shoot 1080p videos at 30 and at 60 fps and the 1080p videos are stabilized as it has a support of EIS and overall the video quality looks great. Now you can also shoot slow motion videos at 120fps and at 240fps in 1080p and you can also shoot 960fps slow motion video in 720p. And to be honest, the video quality of 960fps slow motion video was not that great. And this is not an actual 960fps footage, it's actually a 240fps footage made to a 960fps. Now looking at the quality of 120fps and 240fps slow motion video, now the quality of these slow motion videos are comparatively good. So overall the camera quality is good and as I said this phone has a more capable camera sensor and it also takes some great images. But Realme has to do some tuning to the software so that they can fully use the potential of this camera sensor. 
Now to fully use the potential of this camera sensor then you should definitely install Gcam on this device and by using Google camera app you can take some great looking images which has better color, better contrast, better exposure and better details. Now let's talk about display. Here we get a 6.3 inch IPS LCD panel with Full HD plus resolution and with Corning Gorilla Glass 5 protection on it. Now the display was actually more color accurate than what I expected and the viewing angles are good and the brightness level was also great. And I was able to use this phone under direct sunlight. So in terms of display there is nothing to actually complain and overall the display quality was actually great. Now finally let's talk about different variants. Realme 3 Pro comes with 3 different color variants which are lightning purple, carbon grey and a nitro blue. Now it also comes with 3 different storage and RAM variant which are 4GB RAM, 64GB storage which is priced at 10,000 rupees, 60GB RAM and 64GB storage which is priced at 12,000 rupees and 6GB RAM and 128GB storage which is priced at 13,000 rupees. Now I think that 10,000 rupees variant which is 4GB RAM and 64GB storage is more value for money and if you think 64GB is less then you can put a microSD card with both your SIM inside because this phone has a dedicated microSD card slot. The Realme 3 Pro is a great value for money phone but still it has some cons like a plastic build, a micro USB port and I think it's the biggest con of this phone but the best selling point of this device is its performance especially that gaming performance and that hook charger that we get out of the box. Now these two features makes this phone stand out from all other phones in this price bracket. So if you are looking for a phone under 10,000 rupees which has best gaming performance, best charging speed with a better battery life and a good camera ass, then this phone is for you. But as I said you have to sacrifice the cons that is the plastic build and that micro USB port. So that was it for the review and thanks for watching this review. Now if you just like this review then please hit that like button and if you want to catch my more videos then subscribe and also make sure to hit that bell icon. So it's Vignesh signing off and I'll catch you guys in my next one.